From educational challenges to leadership styles, candidates for the Great Falls Public School Superintendent position shared their vision with the public during a meet and greet session on Wednesday night. Heather Hoyer and Stephen Mayhew spent part of their Valentine's Day making their cases for being the next Great Falls Public School Superintendent. Hoyer is a familiar face in the district. As an assistant superintendent and executive director of student achievement, she has served with GFPS in a variety of roles since 1996 and understands what students, parents, and the community is about. I understand our teachers. I was one. Um, I understand our coaches. I was one. I understand um, our administrative interns, our APs, our principals, and our executive directors. I believe in every aspect that the school district does and for our community. Freud School Superintendent Steve Stephen Mayhew also points to extensive education experience, which includes time in Hardin and Kalispell. He also taught in Albany, Oregon, and was an educator in Casper, Wyoming for more than 20 years. I come with an extensive background with at-risk students. I come with an extensive background with International Baccalaureate or AP students. Um, I have a, a background in coaching and athletics. I have a very well-rounded background um, where I, I feel like I can come in and continue the, the tradition that's gone on here. Both candidates said their leadership style is one of collaboration. I try to get as much information out front as possible. I, I communicate thoroughly. Uh, I think it's very important that everyone knows your expectations and, and what the what our outcome is going to not necessarily look like, but what we're shooting for. I like to bring people to the table, and the more voices and the more viewpoints that we have at the table, the better. It makes us stronger, and it better reflects what our school is really like and what our community is really like. When it comes to challenges facing the district, both agree that recruitment and retention are at the top of the list. Hoyer says it's imperative the district continues its innovative strategies. Great Falls is known across the state as being an innovative district. It, that helps us fiscally, but it also helps us provide opportunities to students and families that just normally wouldn't be possible. Mayhew says interfacing and reaching every student is important. Uh, when you look at things like dropout rate, you look at uh, math and, and reading scores, I don't think it's directly related to the district, but I think it's nationally, and I think uh, we tackle those. On Thursday, the candidates were scheduled to hold comprehensive interviews with the board. Those results will be evaluated over the weekend, and on Tuesday, the board hopes to announce its selection. A successful candidate will oversee a district with a $100 million budget, 10,000 students, and 750 employees. We're looking for somebody who has management skills, somebody who can deal effectively in sharing the message with our public, and most of all, somebody who's passionate about education and our students. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.